Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for August 31st, Monday. And I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the uh, small cap 2000, Russell 2000. And I'm actually going to start on uh, Slash TF, the Russell 2000. And um, I'm going to start on the uh, daily chart so that we can start getting a, you know, a broader view um, of this market, we can kind of see the entire year here, and uh, of course, if you've been under a rock, you should know. If you haven't been under a rock, you should know that we've had that uh, pretty big dump, right? We had a pretty big dump in the market. It was about a 10% correction from, you know, over from the high to the low here, and a lot of people were freaking out. Um, I wasn't, as far as like uh, panic, you know. Like, I don't think we're in a market, what I would call, like, massive crash, like, 08. And, uh, but, you know, of course, we actually caught support here and uh, on this TF chart. And we, we kind of making a move back up the past, um, you know, the end of the week there. It was making a decent move back up. And, uh, but it became uh, extremely overbought here. And you can kind of see... Uh, the four-hour chart got was starting to get really, really um, overbought. We zoom in even more, and as we speak, literally here overnight, we're getting a really, really good um, four-hour sell trigger. Right? I was expecting that to happen on Friday, um, and we had some buyers come into the market and push TF up a little bit higher than honestly what I thought it was going to go. But sure enough. Sunday night here and we're already down a percent there's quite a few people selling here on Sunday night and there's your beautiful little four-hour sell trigger and so clearly Nadex isn't even open so uh, obviously I missed this little sell here and so now I just gotta look uh, for some opportunity tomorrow on this TF chart for on the TF plot chart if we look at a five-day chart you can kinda I guess you can call it that we're in this I guess you can call it bullish on a five-day chart. Bullish, but extremely, uh, you know, it's, it is overbought. We have a new high here at 11.64.7. Obviously, the lows there at 10.71.6. That won't come into play. In my opinion, the actual low is right here. You have three lows right there. That's just a wick. Nobody really cares about that. We got three lows there that quite frankly could come into play this week I have no idea this week might be a little bit up in the air you know little this week uh, lots of lots of money was moved last week trillions of dollars was was moved last week so this week may be just a little bit of a hangover people people may be kind of filling out we haven't been on these areas of the charts you know and over uh, you know, it's been almost eight months since we've been on this area of the chart. So there is going to be some, you know, what what they call some price discovery this week. People are going to be kind of feeling this chart out, you know, and it's going to have to start building, you know, some new structure for the week, right? If you go to the one hour chart, notice that uh, you had some structure back here and then you lost it all the way down. And now we need to go and start building new structure for uh, September. And so when we look at the one, we'll quickly actually look at this one hour chart. There's that sell off here overnight. You can already see we're, you know, we moved over a percent, a percent. Um, but, you know, we're at value area low. We're already at a minus 0.5 deviation. Here's some of my favorite plays. If we move uh, to the plot chart. This is the plot chart, but if we move to the 15 minute time frame, we did come out of value. So this sucker has definite potential to come all the way back tomorrow and fill for an 80% rule. Here is exactly how I would want to play an 80% rule back to the upside. Because if you take a look at that 30 minute, one minute, one hour charts, it looks like it wants to swoop and possibly come back. And so here's how I would like to play an 80%. I first want to get through these POCs. In my opinion, I want to get through those POCs. So I would want price to get through. Hold that right there. Hold that. So you're going to get a retest back down. And then instead of these holding as resistance, what they possibly could, I want it to break through, catch a higher low buy right there and then you got an 80% rule complete it right there at VA high that's something I'll be watching for 
Okay, if you want to, uh, got trainings on all the 80% rules, just type in the search box in the groups. I don't have the pictures on my desktop anymore, um, but I, or else I'd show you that. Some other opportunities, of course, that coming all the way back, if you miss 80% rule, you got sell triggers here and there, and then also a sell trigger right there at uh, Friday's high. So it may retest, and then we can look for selling VA high. Um, buy zones you can kind of see how well that held here you got two of them right actually more than two you got two arrows but you got several several resistance here so obviously you can look for buy VA low so here's what I would want to happen right um, price kind of comes down and then you catch the the buy right there you could catch a spread from here and then take profit as soon as it hits those POCs so let this come up fail to break value area and then take profit once it hits this take your profits so you buy TP it gets through and then you could re-enter another buy and then take profit again so that's that's another option there as far as buyers I'm gonna be a little nervous you know buying binaries down here I'll be just a tad bit nervous just because of how overbought the four hour chart is so I don't mean to uh, you know this isn't the greatest trade plan tomorrow honestly I kinda wanna get through Monday I think it's gonna be a lot better once we get through Monday have a little bit of Monday movement and um, you know I think it then then will be a lot better because I, I do feel like there's some question marks in this chart still I think a lot of people are still trying to figure this chart out and um, it may do things that you're not uh, you, you're not you may not see coming or it may do things that you're like oh, it, it usually doesn't do this well yeah I get it right we're in a we're hitting the charts hitting the time period uh, this week a lot of people are still trying to figure this out there's still a lot of volume at the open there's a ton of volume at the close so you be very very careful uh, trading the close um, I like to keep these right around 10 minutes, so we need to quickly go look at the ES. I like the TF chart better just because of the value area was bigger. But if we look at the ES 4-hour chart, this is the same deal as far as this is currently giving us a really, really good 4-hour sell trigger. It actually gave us a decent one on Friday, and uh, I, you know, I mentioned... Uh, you know grab these dailies up here you should be just fine if you can watch Thursday night's trade plan grab those dailies up there you're good to go and you and you would have been good to go for sure and uh, but you can see here already overnight on Sunday markets opened we're already down a percent so that kind of messes things up a little bit this moves already kind of made its move and so um, if we go and look at the plot chart the value areas are definitely different uh, you know these charts are definitely different because there wasn't much movement and so um, you're already below minus 0.5 you got obviously you got some resistance here notice that all this support right here notice that support 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 that could now become resistance tomorrow so there could be potential for this to retrace and then sell right there so if you're seeing a sell trigger at value area low that's that could be a pretty good one if it gets back inside hits a higher low more than likely this may this sucker may just 80 percent all the way up to the upside so definitely be watching for that for me to want to get an 80 percent rule I'd first want to break Monday's POC so first if you don't catch the sell trigger there and it's actually it's not one you're not catching any uh, you know you're not catching any uh, like that you don't catch that it's not happening what you do is this is probably gonna come back inside I want to break Monday's POC and then instead of Monday's POC being resistance I want it to hold for as support I buy right there and then I put my take profit right at VA high That's exactly how I would play that 80% rule wait for Monday's POC to be broken and then you're gonna probably get some resistance in somewhere here let that come back down by buy right there and then take it up to the upside for an 80 percent rule as far as buy zones all the way down there you do got the minus one you can see support there there and then you do now that is turned into the minus one so but if you do it 
if that tanks bills you need to stay as close to at the money as you possibly can down here you already got a 70 percent chance that that's going to stay true binaries are going to stay true or a 70 percent chance of making profit on a spread there's no reason to be risking a lot of money down there so just you know try and get at the money and then you TP early once you get the up move because there are going to be some bargain buyers obviously buyers came in here and they came in here so if it, if it makes it down there there will be some buyers there just get as close to at the money as you can uh, wait for your once it if, if it moves down there what you do is you wait for that right there and you want that higher uh, low to be higher than where the last low was buy right there get as close to at the money as you can take profit somewhere right there so that could be I'll be in the chat room all day helping people out so message me if you have any questions hopefully again I think it'd be a great thing to let's get through Monday and then hopefully Monday night's trade plan should be should be a really good one so message or comment uh, if you have any questions on this